It is cocktail request week here at Drinks Tube. We've asked you guys for ideas for cocktails for myself, DJ Barbecue, and Richard to concoct. And Laura has hit us up with a beaut. She was uh, engaged up in the Northern Lights area, so she wanted something for her wedding, which is happening next year. So Richard, what are you creating? We've called it. Wait for it. I'm waiting. A Laura Borealis. Her name's Laura. Laura, Laura Borealis. The Northern Lights, etc. I thought I thought that was quite sharp. That is quite. Good, it's all dude. right. Hey, in it, um, we are using loads of green-inspired ingredients. We're using a lovely pear vodka. We're going to be using a French elderflower liqueur. Yeah. We're going to be using some lemon juice, a little bit of caster sugar, some apple, and then we're going to be garnishing it with just like a hint of cucumber. A hint of cucumber. Just a, just a hint of the stick. So we are going to be starting. Our first ingredient is lemon juice. This stuff has been pre-squeezed, and we're going to be making this for ten people. So it's quite a lot. So we need one. 100 milliliters, which is about half of one of these cups. This is a 200 milliliter cup. It's about half, isn't it? Into the cauldron. Into the cauldron. <laughs> it's a very nice cauldron. It is. And then we're going to need 10 teaspoons of sugar, caster sugar. 10? 10 of them. Wow. Sweet. One, two, 10. <laughs> Perfect. We're going to add a little bit of cloudy apple juice. I love cloudy apple. Me too, this is just God's gift. So that is 200 milliliters 200 of mils. cloudy apple juice. French elderflower liqueur, one part, 100 milliliters. Stop. Oh, that smells amazing. Smells good. I love elderflower. Next. The good stuff. The good stuff. Two parts of this. Two parts? Two parts of the, the pear vodka. You're nuts, man. Which is? 200 milliliters of Ingenue vodka? Ingenue vodka, ingenue vodka, yes. Ingenue. Ingenue. <laughs> That's gonna catch on, I like that. So what we need to do now is just ice this up. So let's just fill that, pack that fill with ice and just stir it down, make it nice and cold. Okay, I tell you what, I think ice and um, spandex and women are the best inventions ever. Is that, is that high enough or do you want <laughs> even more high? I think that should be fine. Did I, did I put too much in there? Maybe a little. My bad. Skills. Sorry, sound dude. Who's the coolest <laughs> guy in the hospital? The, the ultrasound, ultrasound guy. guy. This should just give this a little peel like that. Into this glass, we're getting these, these lovely bits of cucumber peel, which are gonna act as our garnish and represent the Northern Lights. We're just gonna basically just push them in nice and slow like that, and just give it a quick stir. Mix all these bits and pieces up a bit. Chill it down a touch. Laura Borealis. Okay, you got your chilled uh, champagne. Chilled champagne flutes. Flutes. Very, very nice. It's absolutely essential. Okay. Now what I always recommend when doing pre-batching champagne drinks is to pour the champagne or the Prosecco into it first. Good Whoa. times right there. You tell me when, you say, you say stop, bro dog. Okay. And stop. And then we just need like a straining device. You could use like a big spoon or something like that. Cold up. Yep and then just pour it straight in. So about literally about 50-50. So we're just gonna add a little bit of green on there just to give the whole thing a green hue from top to bottom. You're so nice to Laura and her Alora Borealis. You just came up with that on your own, man. You are quite clever. You got those lovely minty oils at the top. That's gonna be fresh. Oh man. This is for you, Laura. You ask and you shall, you have received the Alora Borealis, man, courtesy of Richard here at Drinks Tube, man. Hashtag cocktail request. We want to hear from all you guys. What do you guys want to uh, us to make? Um, can we now sample your liquid libation? I think it's a good idea. Cheers. Nice. Mmm. Are you kidding me? It's so tasty. Oh, the, the apples with the Prosecco, it just, it, but it, and also the, the, the cucumber just comes in there and it makes it. Just that little bit soft, it's that after, yeah. cucumbery aftertaste, just a little, and then the freshness of the mint on top. Laura, he's created a rad uh, cocktail for your wedding and made it so you can do it on scale. So if you wanna have 100 people or 1,000, there you go. And we wanna see you guys try these tasty dishes and tell us what you want us to make for you. Give us inspiration, ideas, ingredients, and throw them down below, comment below, and hashtag cocktail request, and also subscribe to the channel drinks too. There's buttons here and you know it makes sense. It's free to subscribe. Um, you are Cheers, a man. genius, bro. Mm. Man.
Man, that's good. I could drink this all day. Oh, yeah. Should we just scrap this and go yeah, see the pub? Let's go, dude. Let's go, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah.